Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. We're partway through our six week camper van road trip around Europe and we have currently arrived in Slovenia. We are really excited to explore the rivers, the mountains and the beautiful lakes. We're now about halfway through our six week road trip around Europe in our VW camper van and we have just crossed the border from Croatia into Slovenia which is our fifth country on the trip. So we've had the last 24 hours based in a tiny little hamlet in southern Slovenia. It is absolutely beautiful. We had a really nice bike ride yesterday. Have a look how we got on. So we were last in Slovenia in 2019 and we have really fond memories of it. It was just such a beautiful, quiet, um, laid back country and we've been desperate to return ever since. Particularly the southern areas of Slovenia where it just seems such a slow pace of life. It feels really sort of undiscovered. It is very, very rural, but very, very picturesque. Um, the border crossing was interesting. It was like going back in time. Uh, Google Maps sent us down this tiny little border crossing across a bridge with, with sort of two derelict uh, passport controls, because obviously now that Croatia's in the EU, there's no need for that. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting crossing, but then as you come across the border, the country just seems to change and it's just beautiful. Richard did have a little bit of a um, fright on the drive, literally about 300 metres on the Croatian side where some motorbikers came off the bridge. They were on our side of the road and we did come within millimetres, I think, of taking one out. Jackie came up Trump's again, finding an absolute belting campsite, Camping Polji, which we're not entirely sure of the region. We know it's in the south, but it is a beautiful, tiny little campsite. I think it's only got about 20 pictures. It is pretty new. I think it's probably only about three or four years old. The facilities are really, really high quality. It's based on the river network and there are a whole host of hiking trails and cycling trails around. Yeah, we're definitely not in the main touristy area of Slovenia, but it is really quiet. It's really peaceful and we have had a lovely stay. And it's fair to say we would have stayed for longer if it wasn't for the fact that we've already got a campsite booked at Lake Bled. So that's what the plan is today. We're heading north. It's about an hour and a half. And hopefully we're going to get to the bucket list destination of Lake Bled, which last time we came, we couldn't get a camp. So we're just really excited.
the problems of coming to a destination like Bled is just how busy it is. Um, the campsite opened at 12 o'clock for new registrations. Luckily, we've got a booking, but they are literally queued out the door. Jackie has had a wander up to reception with all our paperwork and stuff like that to see if we can get in. I'm hoping that not all of these people have reservations because it is just going to be absolutely mental. But it's the price you pay for coming to such a beautiful place and the lake looks amazing so fingers crossed we'll get in soon but we're sort of 15 minutes into the queue and I'm even moved. Well, it's Monday morning and it has absolutely chucked it down all last night and this morning. But there's a slight break in the weather, so we're going to brave it and we're going to go and have a bit of a swim in Lake Lead. Not entirely <laughs> sure about a break in the weather. It's still raining, but it is warm and hopefully it'll have kept the crowds away. So we might just have a little bit of the lake to ourselves in the rain. So how to get Lake Bled to yourself and uh, I think it's probably because it's hosing it down. We're getting a few odd looks but I think some crazy Aussie guy is going to come and join us and uh, yeah it's beautiful and it's actually quite warm. Yeah it's not as cold as the Italian lakes were. So we'll have some of this. So never wants to be put off by a little bit of weather. We have got a weather window at the moment and a tiny weather window where we are going to get out and do a little bit of a loop of a walk around the back of the campsite to hopefully a good viewpoint. So we'll see how we go. When we set off north from Croatia, we knew that we had a very limited weather window. The storms were due to come in on Monday morning. So we arrived at Lake Blade on the Sunday afternoon. We just ditched all our stuff and we got straight out to do a hike around the lake. And it was absolutely beautiful. The water is just this really pale crystal blue. Again, the lakes all around Croatia and Slovenia have been stunning. And then as predicted in the weather forecast the following day, the weather absolutely broke. And there were a few advantages of that. The campsite emptied out, there was no one around the lake, and we just picked our moments. So we managed to sneak 
probably one of the most memorable wild swims we we're ever <laughs> going to have in the lake. It wasn't that cold. It was actually really good. Um, we have swum in quite a few lakes on this holiday and I think with it being cold outside the lake and quite overcast and cloudy, it felt quite warm when we were in the lake and we stayed in for about 15 minutes. Coming to Lake Bled has always been one of our bucket list destinations and we've wanted to come for many years and it really didn't disappoint. It was really, really pretty, despite the weather window that we had while we were there. A slight negative about going to Bled it was the cost. The AXE discount system actually ends at the start of June, so the campsite charges full fees. So we wanted to stay for two nights, so it cost us €96, Euros, which is probably the most that we paid on this trip for two nights accommodation. It was a little bit of a stinger, but it is something that you've got to accept if you want to be right on the doorstep of such a beautiful location. We did have a bit of a conversation. Would we come back to Lake Bled and do it all again? It is one of those bucket list destinations that we'd always wanted to go to. Um, and maybe if we were driving through Slovenia and we could go to the campsite more cheaply and it was sunny, yes, we would. But I think it's one of them places that we've been there and done that now. So that's it from us. We are now heading north to the Triglav National Park and we'll hopefully have about a week to explore the mountains, the lakes and the rivers of that beautiful part of the country. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.